So trade engagement is probably the most significant thing we can do in Victoria in particular, but in Australia generally. We are a small nation, but we're in a critical part of the world. So our relationship with China is important. Our relationship with our region is important, be it Indonesia or Southeast Asia, but our relationship with uh, India in particular is going to grow over the next 30 years. And if you look at population growth that lies before us, uh, in uh, the next 30 years, by 2050, China will have reduced its population. Europe will be generally a little bit bigger, but just modest growth. The US will have modest growth. Africa will have enormous growth, hundreds of millions of extra people. But in the corridor to our immediate west, be it Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Bangladesh Indonesia, Sri Lanka, there's some 600 to 700 million extra people going to be there on our doorstep. So our relationship with India will be critical to our future. Uh, India, just in a few years' time, will be the most populous nation on earth. We have so much in common in terms of history, uh, the way we're governed, and obviously in the region and language, there's an opportunity for us. China will remain because of its significant economy, but over future years our relationship with India would be just as critical. So we have to be more sophisticated uh, about the way we deal with India. We have to turn our relationship into meaningful trade engagement. And with any luck, we'll get a free trade agreement before too long with India. We have that uh, advantage now in China, but it's perhaps taken too long to get the Chinese one. New Zealand has got a head start on us there. We need to be much more upfront about it. And we need to educate Australians about what is going to happen in the next 30 years. The world will change. Our relationships will be important with the US, UK, with Europe but we have an enormous opportunity on our doorstep. And that's what I've sought to uh, focus on in recent years. And that's why we took uh, such a significant role with trade engagement, be it to China, to India, to South Korea, to the Middle East. It's our region, it's our future, and the opportunity is there.